and I am in my classroom and it looks amazing. We're gonna call this the like chrysalis era. Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Today we're gonna do a little productive-ish day in the life. We're gonna get some stuff done and we're gonna see what we can get to. We might also be a little lazy because there is a good combination of those things. And that's what summer is meant to be, is productive and a little lazy. So why are we being productive today? Well, my toddler's at daycare <laughs> and it is hard to get stuff done when you have a toddler at home home and I love him more than anything in the entire world but I also really enjoy some time to just kind of be to myself and get some stuff done so he is at daycare today I send him two to three days a week over the summer and it is a huge blessing because he gets to kind of stay in routine I'm just going to daycare over the summer and keeping his relationships and all of that stuff and I get time to myself to get some stuff done. So there we go, that's, that's the game plan. So today we are going to work on being productive and getting things that I need to get done. And I started today by kind of first getting some caffeine because your girl is tired. Why is she tired, you may ask? Well, because my toddler decided that he likes to wake up at 5 a.m. in the summer, yes. 5 a.m. <laughs> he does not get summer vibes, but it's okay. We get some extra special snuggles and all that stuff, but also like if you have some any early, you know, if you have any early riser tips, please comment them down below because I will happily accept them. But I have my caffeine and after I got my caffeine, I came home and I worked on kind of setting up my day in my passion planner. And I love using this thing. Now I will say I'm a lot better at using it on the days that I am able to just kind of write stuff down without my toddler around me and kind of have a moment to think to myself and all that stuff. But when I do have the time to do that, I really enjoy it. So I just kind of planned out stuff that I need to get done today. Just made like a checklist essentially on my planner today. And I've already gotten some stuff done because I wrote stuff down that I've already done because I also want to like give myself credit where credit's due. I have been getting some things done already. <laughs> so big things that I need to do today are I have a like educational video that I need to film for a company and edit. Well, actually I already filmed it. I just need to edit it and send it their way. I have a reel that I need to finish editing as well. Mostly I just need to like refilm one short piece and send that off to a company. I have a financial meeting with my husband and our like financial advisor that we are going to talk about some big exciting things with, which I'll give you some like life updates later on in this video. So stay tuned because your girl has a lot to tell you about. <laughs> and then I have some cleaning that I need to get done. I need to call some places. I have swim lessons later today. I need to fold laundry, but like, will we do that? That's the thing I'm the best at putting off, so who knows? <laughs> and so much more. I also want to take a nap because summers are for naps and I could use one. So that is the game plan for today. I am excited to spend the day with you. I love productive vlogs. I love bringing you along the ride with me because one, you motivate me, and two, I just love seeing people get stuff done. It always motivates me, so I hope it motivates you. Now, I am going to kind of get my laptop. We're gonna go in my husband's office because he isn't here today, and I have the opportunity to like 
get stuff done without anyone around me <laughs> and I'm going to edit that video that I was talking about and then we will see what we are up to next after that. And before we do that, I should tell you, if you're new here, my name is Victoria. I'm a seventh year, no, nope, I'm an eighth year, third grade teacher or will be. And I teach in the state of Maine. I am a mom to a 21 month old baby boy. And I love to create teaching, lifestyle, motherhood, all that type of content. So if you enjoy any of that, please stick around. We have fun here and we keep it real. So thanks for being here and let's go and get that editing done. Woo! Okay, everyone, so I'm basically done editing the video. I have like a few extra things to add, like pictures and stuff in, but I made a lot of progress. I had to take a break because my internet's not working and I'm a little suspicious because there are like people cutting down trees in our neighborhood. So I'm like kind of wondering if that is the cause. So I hope not, but whatever, if that's the case. Right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my hair so I can look similar to what I already looked like for the reel that I'm shooting. Um, <laughs> I don't wanna re-film all of the clips because I just have like one thing that I need to fix. So I am going to, you know, and do myself up, put on the outfit that I had on that same day and hope that it counts, hope that it's good enough. And yeah, that's the game plan. So let's um, curl my hair. I think I'm on to a new melody. It's not a mix of soul, fat talking, open wounds, heavy breathing and overeating has suddenly left me. Talking to myself after a bottle of wine It's like inviting every spirit oh, I am you and you are me How is that not strange? Oh, I don't want to sit just to sit But my healer told me Your inner world will unfold Just like that it's a fact that we can't be foolish for too long. I think I've written every song soon. From here on to the moon. Hello everyone, I am in my classroom and it looks amazing. The custodians must have put our chairs and desks up and just kind of organized it the way that we are usually do in our classroom, which is so thoughtful and generous of them. So I am thinking this looks amazing. And the one thing I don't love is that I have some desks that are like not consistently the same size, but we're not gonna be nitpicky right now. We'll see if we can fix it later. <laughs> so, it is very exciting. It looks great. I just filmed the like really quick bit of a like edit for a reel that I'm posting. And yeah, it's like some exciting stuff. I am not going to do any like classroom setup or anything today because I have other priorities, but it looks good in here and I cannot wait to get in here again and start to set up my classroom like now seeing how good it looks. I'm just pretty excited. It is wild that like, I don't know, it is like a month and probably a few days until the start of the school year comes. So we're getting there, but I am also just kind of enjoying these last little bits of summer and soaking in everything that I can 
So good stuff. I did also just have my financial meeting. So here's your reminder to, um, one, be contributing to, you know, investment things for your retirement and two, meet yearly with them so you can make sure you're doing the best thing with your money. So there we go. We did the adult things. We recorded the video. We got to get a sneak peek of the classroom again. And now I'm going to head home and edit everything because my classroom is not air conditioned and I do not want to spend any more time in here without air conditioning on. So we're going to go home, kind of add, finish those edits, and then we'll see what else we get to before the swim lesson. Swim lesson is at three and it is currently like, I think it's 120. That clock is not right. So I could be very wrong on that. <laughs> All right, let's go home and do some editing. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. So we are just going to turn this vlog into a few productive days in my life because I neglected the vlog yesterday <laughs> after I finished all of my video editing and sent them off to everyone that I needed to. And then I needed to go directly to swim lessons. So after I did that, I got my baby from daycare and saw some family and then got home and did all the things, you know, lunch or not lunch, dinner, play, all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, want to say hi? Smoothie time. Uh, and then after that, we were working away at stuff around the house. Try I was trying to get laundry done, which I thankfully did other than I just have a few pieces of clothes to hang up today, but that's it. So that feels very good. And yeah, so now it is Friday and we are going to have a good day. It's going to be another productive day. I am sending, I am going to send Hugo to daycare today because next week we don't have any daycare. So they're taking vacation as they should. And I need, we need to get more stuff down around the house. So that is going to be the game plan. We're just going to kind of play. We might go for a walk this morning. We just had breakfast. And then we'll head off to daycare fairly soon. And then we'll get stuff done throughout the day. So I will keep you updated on what we're getting done. And then at some point we're gonna sit down and chat and I'm gonna give you a life update as well. <laughs> so there you go, there you have it. Let's go and do some stuff. <laughs> okay everyone, so my baby has been dropped off at daycare and we are getting breakfast sandwiches because I love a sausage egg and cheese on a biscuit and then after that we're gonna go to Target to pick up some stuff. I also like just realized that I was totally listening to like my baby's like Raffi music the whole ride from like daycare here but <laughs> does any other mom do that? <laughs> like ah okay let's get those breakfast sandwiches and then let's get to Target. Okay, everyone. Hello. So I have been neglecting you. Why have I been doing that? Well, I think it's time for a life update. <laughs> so I, my life is crazy right now. I think we're going to call this the like chrysalis era where we are, you know, in a very transformative time. And you know, the transformative time, it may not always be the most beautiful. It's 
it's got some like, you know, ups and downs and all the messiness, but we're gonna come out the other side and it's gonna be so, so beautiful. But basically, here's the update. We're gonna go back a little bit. In, in December, my husband and I bought a piece of land in a town that we really enjoy, in the town that I work in actually, and or the school district that I work in, and we're gonna be living near friends, which is like the dream. So we have that land. And when we bought the land, we were kind of like, yeah, this is great. We're, there's no way we're gonna be able to build anything anytime soon. And then I don't really know what it was, but I don't know, come probably March, we were like, no, let's, let's make this happen. So then we thought, well, how are we going to make this happen? And how are we going to make this happen is we are selling our house. We have sold our house and we are moving in with my husband's parents and they have like a split level house and they have, they kind of live in the downstairs portion of it and we'll just live in the upstairs portion. You know, we'll have like all of our own separate space, but it's definitely gonna be different and I'll be living with my in-laws and it's, that's, you know, gonna be different, but we are so lucky to have the opportunity to be able to sell our house, save and, you know, live with family in the process and kind of have some special times with, Hugo to have with his grandparents and so on. So even though it's not ever like exactly what I pictured, it's turning, it's gonna be great. We are currently packing our house so we can move for next week. And the process has gone really well. The house sold pretty quickly. It sold for honestly well over asking, which is like the dream. I'm just gonna really miss this place. I'm like not that sentimental about things but I'm very sentimental about places. So this place is just very sentimental to me because it just has so many like core moments and memories in my life, but it's okay. <laughs> the cool thing is that we're gonna get to build our house. So the process for building will start more once we are moved in at my in-laws, but basically like we have the land where they're gonna start kind of chopping down trees and all that stuff. So exciting things to come there. Another kind of big thing that ha has happened was is that we've just, my family's just had a lot of health problems. Like both of my parents in February were like simultaneously, like almost within a week diagnosed with cancer. And I'm not gonna go too much into that because privacy, but that was hard and things are getting a lot better, but it's still not, you know, all figured out and that's just been tricky. And then this week my grandmother died kind of unexpectedly as well. So it's just been a journey. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I am going through it right now. And this process of moving is feeling so super overwhelming. When I got home from Target today, I just laid down and took a nap. <laughs> like I couldn't handle anything else. So I just went to Dunkin' and got like a little latte because I need to have a little bit more oomph to get some stuff done. But yeah, whew. This is exciting and like I said, very transformative. We are going into our chrysalis era where we're going to embrace the like not so pretty so we can get to that like amazing, beautiful outcome in the end. And I am very, very thankful to be in the opportunity to have, you know, the chance to save money and to be with family and so on. So it's really, really sweet. It's just going to be so, so different. So that's the life update that you may have been um, curious about. We'll see if there's more to come at some point, but that's, that's what we've got right now. So if you have ever built a house, please comment down below any things, like any recommendations that you have. We have plans, like rough drafts made and like notes made to the like people who make plans. But I'd love to know just like thoughts in general of things that you would look for if you're building. So please comment that down below.
and yeah so there you go that's the life update i will now actually be productive hopefully for like at least a few hours before i get hugo from daycare and we go and just have some dinner with my parents um but right now i need to we're kind of cleaning up the downstairs of our house which has really just been like not that utilized and i'm just trying to like put things it's mostly been storage honestly so we have a storage unit and my husband's parents house that we're kind of splitting the things amongst and so a lot of the stuff down here is going to just be going in the storage unit because we don't need all of it and we're also just purging because if there's anything that we don't like or we don't think we've really used in the last little bit we're not keeping it because we're not going to want it in a brand new house either so there you go that's the strategy so right now I am packing up stuff. I have some like baby clothes that I'm like putting in those like vacuum seal bags and like suck and vacuum so that it's like stores a little easier for any future little ones. And yeah, that's the that's the process right now. So let's go and do some packing. Woo! So that's it for today's vlog. After I like finished packing and kind of cleaning around the downstairs of our house, I called Disney because I'm planning a Disney trip sometime soon and <laughs> needed to fix something. And then I got my baby and we went to my parents' house, had dinner, and then put my baby down to bed. And now here I am. So I had so much fun hanging out with you all today. I had a lot of fun just sharing kind of like what's been going on in my life and updating you all. So if you have any like recommendations, again, building wise, I would love to hear it. If you have any recommendations with living with your in-laws, with a toddler, I would love to hear it. If you have any recommendations and just living in a smaller space, I'd love to hear it. All of the things, but we're gonna make the best of it. Like I said, this is the chrysalis era. We are going to kind of call this the transformation time where we are embracing the change, embracing the like not so beautiful so we can get to the really amazingly beautiful. And along the way, there's obviously many beautiful moments. So there you go. I'm hoping that I'll get to some like classroom setup stuff and so on. Probably, probably won't be till like the second week of August, but that is on the to-do list. But if you have any other things that you'd like to see from me, moving vlogs, just like sit down classroom videos, or I don't know, like a playroom tour or anything like that, comment down below and let me know. And until then, I hope that you have the best week, the best weekend, and I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see any future videos from me. You're all the best and I so, so appreciate you. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.